In this video, I want to guide you on how to create your own phantom wallet. So in case you don't have phantom wallet, then stick around, let's learn along the way. But I'm going to use the first few minutes to explain what is phantom wallet and then use the remaining to give you the step-by-step -step guide on how to create one, secure your private keys, and of course, trade and carry other activities in your phantom wallet. So what is phantom wallet? Phantom Wallet is a popular cryptocurrency wallet and is designed to provide a secure and user-friendly experience for managing different types of cryptocurrency. But initially, it was built for just Solana blockchain, but now it supports Ethereum, Polygon, and Bitcoin, meaning that you can now trade other cryptocurrency that is built on these different blockchains. And here are some key features of Phantom Wallet. Number one is it supports multi-chain transactions, meaning that you can manage access across different blockchain like Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, like I mentioned previously. And then number two is that it supports NFT and DeFi integration, meaning that you can access and manage NFTs and of course use different types of decentralized applications. Three is that it has a low user-friendly interface meaning that it is designed to be easy to use and of course make it more simple for a newbie who is coming into the crypto space but the fourth one here is that it is a non-custodian wallet just simply have this in your mind if you have full control over your private keys and seed phrase then you are in custody of your money that's just what it means so without wasting much of your time let's go straight into the tutorial part of this video see you over there so to download the phantom wallet you need to go through the official website which is phantom.app now open the official website i recommend the official website so that you download the right one so click on download and then you can see you can download to your ios device android device these are the mobile application and then for the browser extension you can see the enabled browser extension you can install there but well, for the purpose of this video we are going to be focusing on the mobile applications and on the mobile application i am using android device if you're using ios please use the ios patch sub so option and install yours for me i'll click in on the android now you can install and once you've done that you can click on open once you click on open you have two options here either to create a new wallet or to import an existing wallet. If you already created a phantom wallet before now, you can import it by clicking on this import an existing wallet option and you can authenticate this device all right and then click on next now you have three ways to bring down your old account either by secret recovery phrase those 12 or 24 digit ways you have you can use that means or import via private keys or you can as well connect your hardware wallet to import yours but i guess you are just creating a new one for the first time please go back and click click on create a new wallet which is this place authenticate your device so that you can use your fingerprint to open yours and then click on next either up here here or this down one here and this is your secret recovery phrase and this is where it gets more interesting remember without your secret phrase the wallet is not yours what it means is that the whole idea of decentralization is for you to be in control of your funds so there should be a code you should have by you only you meaning that whoever that gain access to this secret recovery phrase can use it to log in your account and make withdrawal from your account meaning it should be secret and it should never be revealed to anyone store it in a secret place i do not recommend you storing this in google drive i prefer you store it in a piece of paper and they hid it somewhere but somehow you should be able to have a way of passing the information to your family in case of tomorrow anyway this particular one we are seeing right now is for a tutorial video at the end of this video i will be deleting this wallet so we might 
might try this secret phrase and you're not going to see anything of such so once you've gotten to this place copy it and then go and save it properly once you've done that you cannot click on, uh, you cannot click on next or okay i have saved it somewhere click say yes so it is loading i have created my phantom wallet all right the next you need to do is to agree on the terms of service and then get started i will use my fingerprint to open it and do i want to get update notifications if yes i can click enable if no i can say not now but for me i will click enable so if i were you i would like to enable it so that you get notification anytime but for security reasons because of where you find yourself you don't want people to see that reflecting on your phone or notification popping up on your phone you can as well disable that by not accepting so i click on understood and my wallet is created all right to get started to buy crypto transfer crypto every information you can read them here the options you see here first of all is that you don't have any money in this account so you can either receive money by clicking on receive and then you get funded or when you receive money you can also send money out you can also swap right here and you can as well buy directly from this place but let's go down now you can see that it's no longer only solana uh, enabled wallet it also allows ethereum bitcoin and polygon meaning that any of this coin you can trade them directly from here so if you have any coin built on ethereum and listed on uniswap you can as well trade them directly from phantom wallet okay so let's start from the first one receive we click on receive now here are the various wallets you can receive from now up here you are going to see solana wallet below solana if you tap on this copy sign i've copied it and that is my receive wallet i will send it to where i want to send money from either from my centralized exchange or a vendor anywhere and then you get funded to this place same applicable to ethereum matic and bitcoin now if you want to send money out you click on send then you choose the particular coin you want to send out to that you've copied the wallet if it's solana you click on so and then you paste the wallet address you are sending it to up here and then you can click on next if you have money but i don't have any money here this i want to send five so and uh, insufficient balance once that is done i click on next and i will send the money out maybe later before the end of the video i will show you how you can do that we'll do the practical part and the next option is swap option now these options allows you to swap different uh, coins between now if you notice that solana is about to drop or the market wants to go down you can as well swap your coin directly to this usdc or usdt depending all right so if you click on this column here the usdc column you see the various coins you can swap to you can as well use it to buy if you want to swap to ethereum meaning you're going to send to ethereum you want to swap solana to um theta or polygon you can do the same what this tells you is that the up one is paying to the down one meaning solana is sending to usdt i want to convert or swap my solana to usdt if i want to swap to ethereum i'll click on ethereum and i'll click on usdc it means that i want to swap my solana to usdc ethereum mind you usdt ethereum if not if you want to remain on a solana it means that i am swapping usdc on U, uh, usdc solana that is why the logo indicates here make sure you know the right one you are sending it to all right and then let's go back to the next one and that is buy option for you to buy you can buy directly from this place let's say i want to buy solana i can click on so and then type i want to buy five solana 500 dollar out of solana rather and i'll click on next now so i can continue with monpe and then use my card to execute that transaction and instantly i will be funded directly here and i will see my solana balance 
this particular place so this swap option here is down here and here we show you your collectibles in case you have some collectibles or nfts on this place you can click on this button here and then this is the same swap button and then here shows you your history if you have sent coin you've traded any coin all your transaction activities are all recorded on this place and then this is the browse section say you want to buy a coin and the coin is listed on radium you can quickly click on radium and it will open for you and then before then you should have funded your account with solana and then you click on agree to terms you enter radium and then you have to connect your wallet from here and then choose phantom wallet directly and then click on connect now you can see the wallet is connected rather at this place no longer connect and then you have solana to radium so say you want to buy any coin maybe a contract address is given you and you have some solana to buy the coin you click here the radio button and then paste the contract address on this particular place and the name of the token is going to display and then you choose the amount you want to buy click on on file of view token list and then you continue from there but let's go back and form this wallet with some money and then continue from there okay so i'll click on receive and i want to send via barcode all right so i'll click on this column here this barcode sign here okay i've sent in some money so let's confirm i have to refresh yeah so i've sent in some money which is 14 dollar you are seeing right here Okay, say I want to swap a token right here. I'll just come here and I'll click on my so here, the amount which is 0 0.05. All right, the amount to $7 and it's 7.21. And what I'll be receiving in USDT is 0 0.2, 0 0.14. So if I click on view order right now, and I'll confirm this transaction by clicking swap, meaning I am sending Solana to USDC bot on Solana chain. So I'll click on swap. You can see it's done. And if I also want to return it back, I'll click it this way and I'll click on the amount I have here, which is seven. I want to return it back to my Solana. I'll click on seven. Um, let me put seven point one five that I want to withdraw all and I'll click on view order I'm setting USDC back to Solana I'll click on swap and it's done so you can see my money will be back to Solana all right and then if you click on history you can see the transaction history here the recent activities so this is how you can actually swap you can also use contract address to swap anytime I will show you how we can do that and then say I want to trade a particular coin which we've complained initially that Radon gives us issue and we'll be doing that using bomb boots that is the next video you will be seeing however I've sent in money and I've shown you how to swap and how to receive but if I want to send out this Solana out I'll click on send I'll click on so and uh, I'll click on this button here I'll paste the wallet address rather here that I want to send the money to it say I want to send it to this place i'll paste the wallet address here at the name of address but in this case i want to use the barcode i'll click on this place i'll click on use and i will use my fingerprint and i've scanned it i'll click on next and i have to send out my soul mind you there should be some transaction fee available so i can't withdraw all i have to keep some for fee all right so i might like taking this this way can take two yeah and i'll click on next it means i'm sending my soul back to the previous wallet i'll click on send and i've sent it this is an indication that i've sent the coin out so this is how you can send the receive swap the same way you want to trade but i would recommend using bombo to trade and i've said it i'll be making a video after this one check it out uploading it two days after seeing this video here that is all about setting up your phantom wallet see you again next time